Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Roman Just Codes. I'm Roman, and in this video I'll be coding a very simple splash screen as a reusable Angular component. Let's get started. First, I'll be creating a brand new project which I'll call Simple Splash Screen. I'll pick Angular Routing as usual, and pick SCSS as my CSS preprocessor. Once the project gets created, I'll CD into the generated folder and run it by calling the Angular CLI's npm start command. Just checking that everything is in order, I launch the project in a browser running on localhost port 4200. I'll be using Google Material Design icons for the web, so I'll grab the link from there. Once I get the link, I'll drop it on the main project's index.html inside the head. I'll do the same for the fonts on this web app and grab a nice looking Google font for the web. Drop the link below the material icons link and you should be good. After my icons and fonts are set up on the page, all I need is to start applying these assets. I'll apply the font globally, so I'll set the font in the body inside the styles.scss file, which is the topmost style in an Angular project created with the CLI. Clean up the content of the app.component.html and replace with anything you want. We just want to prove things are working as far as fonts. And there it is. Fonts are applied correctly. Let's proceed with the rest of the code. I'll create a folder called components inside the app folder in which I'll create the main component in this project, the splash screen component. I'll CD into the folder and generate a component called splash screen using the CLI. Once the component is created, let's start defining the HTML structure. I want to have a main root container called App Splash Screen. An inner container called App Splash Screen Inner. This container will hold a logo, a label, and a loader image, which will be an animated SVG for simplicity. I usually like to set my components view encapsulation to none, so I'll do it now. Let me start defining the styles for my splash screen. My main container will have a nice green background to it. Position fixed so it stays on top of the page regardless of page scrolling. Top, left, right, and bottom to zero. Display flex. Justify content center. And align item center so my items get nicely centered. With a height to 100%. And a high Z index so it stays on top of all of the other components.
Okay, back in the app.component.html, I'll create a more formal container called main app container. I'll still add some placeholder text. But on top of this container, it's where I'll place the splash screen. So this component sits on top of the root of the page. Let me run the application so we can start seeing the component on top of everything. Let me actually go to the very root of the project and run npm start from there. Refresh the page and you will start seeing the splash screen background covering the whole page. But we haven't put anything inside of the splash screen yet. We'll get to that in a second. Let's start with at least the label. I'll call my web app leafy, hence the leaf green color. I wanna display it using Chrome's mobile simulation option. Let's add the style for the app label on the splash screen. I'll make it white with a font size of 2.5 EM. Now let's play with the logo. I'll bring a material design icon. Since the link is already added, all I have to add is the reference to the icon and it should just show. I'll grab a leaf icon with the label echo. So all I do is add the material dash icons class to the HTML tag where I want it and the label. Let's add the styles for the logo. I'll start with a width and height of 100 pixels and see if this works. I'll add a white color to it to match the text. Since this is actually a font, I'll actually do font size and I won't need any specific dimensions really. I'll download an animated SVG to stand for the loading, which I could do in CSS, but I like using animated SVGs. This is your choice. I'll apply this SVG image as the background of the app-loader container with the appropriate styles. I'll start with a width and height of 80 pixels and the same amount for margin to give it some breathing room. Oh, and please check out samherber.net website for some cool free animated SVGs. Good for loading SVG sequences. Save and reload. And there it is, a splash screen that covers the whole page with a simple loading animation. Before proceeding any further, we'll tweak a few more things on the CSS. I'll use the app splash screen inner class to improve the alignment on the logo, text, and SVG loader. I'll do the usual display flex, flex direction column. Justify content center, align items center. So now they're aligned vertically and horizontally on the center of the page. I'll stop right here and continue on the next video where I'll focus on adding the animation and configurability of this component. 
see you in the next video that's it for this video so please stay tuned for more upcoming videos hit the subscribe button to stay updated and please like this video if you found it useful thank you so much for watching